Well, hello, lovelies, friendos, everyone. Welcome to Hades. It's back. We have update. We have news. And who better to join me to endure this delicious news than the amazing, the fantastic. It's Tammy. <laughs> hello there. Welcome back once again to the channel. Um, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I am very good. I am hyped to be here for more news of yet another beloved game of ours. Uh, yeah. It's been, <laughs> been a good year for us, hasn't it? Oh, this, <laughs> this year has been fantastic. You know what? This year has been uh, such a long time coming, I feel like, over the past few years, especially during the pandemic. Uh, I mean, obviously, the pandemic had kind of held us back a little bit. Um, yeah. But it is good to be back in form with these such delicious games. Um, Obviously, we've been plowing many hours, many hours into Baldur's Gate, but um, we didn't forget about Hades. We have been patient with Hades. Yeah, how, how could we ever forget? I mean, you know, it's one of those things. I think we have a deep love for Baldur's Gate, we have a very deep love for Hades, and Hades 2 is just... Oh, it's gonna be amazing, and we've got news for you all. Oh yes, so there was a recent, well, I say a recent, it was about two weeks ago, I think, so we are a tad late to this, but yeah. we, are, we are talking about it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a recent update, and naturally our our ears had popped up, and it's like, oh my god, news, anything, just nom 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 nom, <laughs> anything. Um, and it's finally here, um, so yeah, we can uh, delve into the delicious news. So first up, um, they have announced that Early Access starts next year in Portal 2 2024 on Steam and the Epic Games Store. Um, there's more details to come on exact date, pricing, system requirements and so forth. But yeah, um, it's been announced that there's gonna be Early Access at this point in time. It's just honestly, I think uh, every I think yeah. everybody's been waiting for that, right? Every, I mean, they announced it uh, whenever it was late last year, I think it was, and everyone's been very yeah. patient, just any sort of news, and to finally get that confirmation of like, hey, you know, it's uh, it's coming soon. I think that's Here's relatively a soon. For you, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, I mean, that's good. Virtual two, twenty twenty four. Yeah. Um, there is gonna be a technical test before that. Uh, Essentially, right before the early access. Yes. Um, that's gonna be with very limited player numbers, um, very limited amount of, well, extent of the game that those people are going to see. Um, we'll get more information concerning that as well, closer to when it happens, but um, I'm personally really hoping yeah, to I mean get my hands on it. Yeah, I, I, I know it's it's um, it's something that we're obviously very eager to get into. Um, you know, Hades One being the absolute masterpiece that it was. Um, I, I, I'm just happy for them to take the time. I think the the yeah. general consensus from most people is to look just do what you guys do best. Super Giant have been really good with the uh, the whole process. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just oh, man. I'm just hyped. You know. <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah, I think it's also cool. It's it would be the first time for me personally to see the progress on a Hades game like this. Um, hmm. I sadly missed the early access for the first game. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. yeah, I um I was quite late to Hades actually. It was uh, during one of the <laughs> uh, the Game Awards when it was nominated up for Game of the Year. I don't think it won it the first time, but then I think uh, it won uh, a Game of the Year awards, uh, a different one or something. Um, and I don't know, it, it was just there and I was like, what is this game that I've never heard of that has been nominated <laughs> for Game of the Year? And I just happened to pick it up as a sort of like, okay, well, it's been nominated for Game of the Year. People have been raving about it, so surely it's got to be good, right? Yeah, it's, Yeah, it's... and <laughs> it, it's so good that you had to 100% it and then play it a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I'll say is uh, right now there is some background stuff going on and I haven't played it for a while because obviously Baldur's Gate and all that fun stuff, so I am a little rusty and I did just lose a life there to uh, Disciplinary. But, um, no, this game is a goddamn masterpiece and I have openly quite very open actually uh, I've said that this is one of the greatest games ever made and I have no shame in saying that whatsoever none whatsoever um, oh no I fully support you in that honestly it's it's a masterpiece it's phenomenal and I am so excited for Hades 2 just even just seeing the progress um, that they will make obviously 
when it's already accessed, you're not gonna get the full story arc, you're not gonna get every character. Um, but we already have a good chunk of characters. We know, obviously, the protagonist is going to be Melinoe. We know that Hecate, Morus, Apollo, Nemesis, Dora, and Kronos are gonna be there. Um, Hades, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I, um... the characters that we've seen so far, um, they all look fantastic. You know, I mean, it looks so good. Every character in this game looks fantastic, but just I don't know. It's just nice to see the, that they've sort of kept with the theme of them looking like sexy and just awesome. And yeah, I mean, oh yes, I mean, it's it's just a dream. It's just everyone yeah. is hot, everybody's cool. Um, <laughs> I I can't help but fangirl over it because Greek mythology for me is something I really love, anyways. Yeah. I'm not the biggest expert on it, but um, I do have a decent chunk of knowledge, so I, mean, just... I can just properly geek out over it. And it's the way they do it is so good as well with choosing Melinoe, who is, um, I don't know if you know this, but she's one of the more obscure deities, so they have a lot of room for being creative, essentially. Yeah. So, yeah, it's gonna be good. Very, very curious. Yeah, she looks super cool, and I'm, I'm just excited, honestly, to um, to pick it up. And I think it was, uh, I think it was a good decision to not keep Zagreus as the main um, character. So I'm super curious to see how his role is in the second one. Yeah, I mean, he's sure to pop up at some point. I'm sure they wouldn't keep that from us, right? Oh yeah, right? I mean, yeah, <laughs> to have um, to have Hades as uh, well coming back and there's uh, some. Um, some interesting uh, dialogue in the trailer with um, him uh, mentioning Kronos. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, I'm just getting uh, just honestly just real good vibes from it. The just the whole villain, and I'm I'm also curious to see how the uh, the whole like replayability will play out because obviously in this it's like um, I mean it's a spoiler. He's an but... actual bad guy, so to say. Yeah. yeah. So it's like in this, it's just like oh you 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 constantly you're fighting your dad is trying to stop you escape, but then spoilers if you haven't played this already, but it turns out you can't actually escape. Who yeah. knew you can't? Who who knew that <laughs> the son of Hades can't actually escape hell? <laughs> who knew? <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, that's the thing for me is like how how are they going to play that into the second one? Like, what is going to be the arc and the reasoning and the justifying? You know, you yeah. replaying it. Because I was thinking about that for quite a while. To be fair, I was like, well, one option is literally saying, hey, um, Kronos has control over time, so. Yeah. Melinoe has to do it over and over again to kind of prevent him from, you know, regaining his power or anything like that. Essentially like a infinite time loop. Yeah. At the same time, I feel like that would be a lot, I don't know, like a less happy ending, if hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. Like a lot more of a cramped ending, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad ending as such, but yeah, so I can't really imagine them going with that. No, I mean... We'll see. I mean, if they do, I won't be angry, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, the thing is, for me, I just, I, tr I trust them to do uh, to do good with that. I, whatever whatever happens, I have all the faith in the world that they will, they will write it, they will tell a good story. Um, oh, yes, definitely. Like, the, yeah, the, the, the pedigree that they've got, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be good regardless. Uh, not yeah, like even just. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no, it's alright. I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, even just the voice acting that we've seen in the trailer. I mean, the original Hades was so brilliant for voice acting and music and everything. And I'm honestly just excited to see the art and the voice acting and yeah. see how it develops and. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm, hyped. <laughs> I think uh, I mean uh, I mean sound and voice acting is I'm, I'm just a huge fan of it, and I think uh, sound design particularly doesn't get as much love as I mean obviously gameplay is super important. Uh, yeah. Visuals, people will always talk about how beautiful you know games can be, and especially this one, it just looks fantastic. But when it comes to sound design, it's just fantastic. Yeah, and it can get overlooked a bit too easily, but. Uh... Yeah. yeah, I think it it makes the experience so much better. Yeah, absolutely. I made my wish. 
<laughs> how, how are you getting on there? Uh, I am getting on, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ooh, I just got a duo boon. <laughs> yeah. Aphrodite and Poseidon. Any palms of power you find are more potent? Lovely, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, Poseidon. Yeah, I think... I, you know what? I'm going off on a tangent here, but... <laughs> I, won't, I know where I this is going. Who, <laughs> this time, who will be the deity who's the meanest to me? Because last <laughs> time, as, as you saw, as you witnessed in person, yep. um, Poseidon was being very cruel to Man. me. Um, he just wouldn't give me his legendary. He was incredibly it's, stubborn. It, it was incredibly tough, yeah. I can't remember who, there was someone on this set that I'm doing now. There was someone who had that similar thing with me. It wasn't it wasn't beside I can't remember who it, it was. was. Athena, I believe. Yes it, was, it was, yes. Yes. She, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. God damn her and her wicked ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to mop up all the uh all the things to get all the legendaries for each one and she was the last one I needed yeah. and for the life of me she just would not give me that damn legend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. Fine, I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> and then she finally oh. gave me it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it, no, it's uh, it's good. Um, yeah, I, d I don't know. Like, uh, this is... If anything, it's just an excuse to jump back on this game. And uh, if you haven't played it yet, first of all, why? Why haven't you played it yet? <laughs> but second of all, absolutely do play it. I, you know, I can't recommend this game enough. It's just... It, it brought me a love to a genre that I didn't know was there. Because I'd never played any game yeah. like this before. Um, and this was my first, and my god, I'm glad it was, because what an experience. Oh no, not the Witch's it's, Circle. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really too familiar with roguelike before that, and I've been absolutely loving this. I mean, even just if you look at um, stuff like difficulty settings, you know, there's a yeah. little bit for everyone. So, I'm a peasant, I play in normal mode. Hmm. There is, if you can't manage in normal mode, if you think you really, you suck at games or something like that, or you just want to relax. Yeah. There's god mode that gives you resistances, I'm sure they will do something similar for the second game. Yeah, yeah. And obviously there's, um, what's it called, hell mode? To uh, make it extra tough. I think so, hang on. Uh, god, god mode. Is that... Uh, um, no, 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 God that's the mode one. is yeah, the one that the makes you resistant. That's the yeah. opposite. Yeah, no, I know which one you yeah. mean anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. That's just good. Uh, yeah, I mean the thing, the thing with difficulty in uh, games is that I feel like um, there's almost like a shame that people put on people playing it on easy. Uh, and I, I don't buy that. I think, listen, if you've bought a game, then you're entitled to play the game how you feel comfortable playing the game. I mean. The game was made with the setting available. If it wasn't meant to be played on easy mode, then there wouldn't be an easy mode. Yeah, it's like a, like no it's no it's person who just wants a casual time, you know, just wants to chill out. Yeah. He's going to go play Dark Souls, for example. Nobody's doing that. <laughs> um, just a relaxing bit of Dark Souls. Yeah, just to chill out, you know. Oh man, you know, I've had a long day at work. I feel like just vibing out with some Dark Souls. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Um, <laughs> so I think uh, if there is the option there, then, you know, more power to you. I, I, I'm certainly not going to judge anyone for playing on easy mode, you know? I, I personally yeah. always go normal first, and then if I really enjoy the game, I might challenge myself. Um, but absolutely not going to criticise or judge anybody if they want to just chill out on the game. Um, and I think the fact that they've put something like that in Hades is, you know... God bless yeah. them, so to it's speak. It's great, and they even gave it the story reason and stuff like that, you know, like, it's it's good, it's kind of approachable for all kinds of players, and I like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's this literal, so to say, professional Hades players. Mm. And what I can do is, you know, it's insane. Like, phew. Oh my god. I, I couldn't do it, like, I suck too much to do that, but... um. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not terrible, but I'm not great, so. <laughs> Ma like maxing out all the scores on the on the run. Oh my god, like uh... that is filthy. Like the max I've got, oh, the, the, I did the one to get 32, you know, to unlock the third yeah. statue. So I did that, and that was a challenge in itself. And then I did try and have a go at the max one. And I mean, this gameplay does nothing to show you how good I was. I'm super rusty and I apologize for the terrible <laughs> gameplay. But um, back then, when I was playing it all the time, I got 
fairly decent at it, I think. You know, I was able to dodge and maneuver and do all the fun stuff and do, like, runs on some high heat, you know, like maybe 16 yeah. or so, you know, without taking hits and stuff. I was I was decent. You know, I thought maybe, you know, <laughs> with a bit of careful and a lot of practice, I could uh, I could absolutely boss it. No, 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 no. That it's Max crazy. heat is borderline. It is, it is so close to being impossible. There's just that small window of opportunity that you get. Um, yeah, yeah. You no just, mistakes allowed, essentially. No mistakes. You need everything to fall into place. Um, man, yeah. <laughs> I just I just remember having a really bad time with that because I couldn't even leave the first area. I was just struggling. Like The closest I got was to Megara, and then she whooped my behind, and it, not in the fun way. Um, and I just... Yeah, I got slapped. Um, and I just couldn't... I couldn't break that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it was... Very fair. But, I, I, yeah. No, nah, it's... yeah, it's, it's good. It, it's good that it's there, though, because, like you say, you know, there are people who play this game the way they do to really challenge themselves, you know, and uh, oh, challenge yeah, themselves. Oh, yeah, they come up with can. such creative things, and, you know, they really become a master of the game, and, I mean, more power to them. Yes. I like that there's this whole variety around. Like I said earlier, it caters to every kind of player, and that's awesome. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, the the dialogue as well, um, which is something else I really like about this game. Where basically you speak to people and they'll react to certain things that you've done. Oh yes. <laughs> um, and I think that's really cool because there's a, there's also a, there's a dialogue that Hades gives if you basically beat him or get to him on the very first run without any help yeah. or anything. Um, and it, it, there's dialogue for that, which is super cool. You know the fact that they thought of that. You know, yeah. they think, who's who's playing this game for the very first time and is beating everybody and getting to the very end? But no, they, they thought of that, and that's super cool, you yeah. know? Yeah, I do love that. Yeah. They've, put, they've definitely put a lot of thought into it, and I have very high hopes for the second one. Like, I think it's good that they're going to take their time with it. I think it's excellent that they're doing early access again, because, like, they stayed in their own block themselves um super giant actually put in that you're gonna try and find that sweet spot again where the game is far enough that you know players can actually enjoy themselves but it's still early enough for them to fix stuff so yeah, yeah. i think they have a very healthy approach to it and i am so curious to see what they come up with yeah it's it's i'm just ready <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm physically ready. I don't think I'm emotionally ready for it, but I am uh, I am uh, <laughs> bracing myself. I just I don't know. Like I I'm I'm just happy that it's a thing, honestly, because I I like many others. I don't think was expecting it. Um, just because they've never done a sequel before. Yeah. Which. It's... I will never forget how you told us about how you were watching them. Um, was it the Game Awards? With the oh, first yeah, time? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no regrets. Half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like uh, like two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I was uh, I was um, I was on my way out to sleep. You know, I was I was dozing off a little bit, and I, you know, I just thought, you know, I'll watch this, and then this uh, this very familiar, and I, I mean, I look back now, now, and it was so obvious, but it just didn't click. It just didn't click. <laughs> You know, it was like halfway through the uh, the thing, and I was like, "Wait a minute, <laughs> that sounds familiar. That looks familiar too. What is this game? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's another Hades game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited." <laughs> You know what? It it was a great thing for me to wake up to. <laughs> oh man, I I was just like so, I was so emotional. I was like, man, actual tears. Been like, this is this is a, this is the impact that games can have on people. You know, they can bring this kind of joy to be excited about something like this. Is just wow. It's you just know? great. And it's just good that games like this exist. That there are games out there that aren't, you know, doing those kind of practices and that that we don't like talking about. Um, you know, yeah. it's just it's just a good experience, you know? It is a solid experience and <laughs> I mean it this just makes you happy, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, you know. This is exactly why we're <laughs> why we're doing this, just so we could gush over this game essentially and just remind everyone that hey, this is a goddamn masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just yeah. by the way, we are not sponsored in any way. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we, that's we just have a deep love for <laughs> yeah. games this that we gush over <laughs> endlessly. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast was absolutely not sponsored by Supergiant or anyone related. This is a this is an individual production by me. <laughs> Okay. I just really yeah, like this it's... game. We really love this game. Um, <laughs> and uh, we cannot... Just us fangirling over Hades. Oh, fan, uh, fangirling super hard. I've never fangirled this hard over a game ever, I don't think. Like, even Baldur's Gate, you know, in its glory, I think that was because it was essentially released a long time ago and it was put in early access and then because of the whole pandemic thing, um, it got delayed, like, super long and I think that sort of magic had... You know, I kind of missed a little bit, but with this, it was yeah. just, ah, you know, French kiss, and then obviously Hades two announced, and I just, I, I completely lost my composure, um, <laughs> as is, uh, as is one to do. But yeah, hopefully, uh, we will get some more news, and they can uh, tease a little bit more the the, the filthy teases that Super Giant are. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I have nothing else to add. Um, so, yeah, uh, same. Yeah. We, we are going off on a tangent, but it's fine, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's just good, honestly. It's, um, it's just us being fangirls, and that's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. We are allowed to. I mean, look, I don't know. Um, just look at the art. Just look at the characters staring at this, um, at the development update on the Super Giant Games website, and there's this picture of Moros and Melinoe and Nemesis, and they just look so good. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll put some pictures up in uh, <laughs> in post, <laughs> um, so you can uh, you can gush over those. As, um, well, as we, we're going to do once this video is finished, I'm sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, with that in mind, I think we can uh, we can probably wrap up there. Uh, this was just yeah. um, two busy nerds talking. Uh, just talking Hades. We just love this game, and we will love Super Giant. If anybody's listening, we, we love you guys. Please just continue doing what you're doing. Continue to be amazing, and continue bringing Hades to this world. Um, so, uh, any last words from you, Tommy, before we bounce? Um, I would say, if you fancy playing the first Hades, and if you fancy giving the second Hades a shot, um, do it. If you don't like it, then you don't like it, but I'm sure you won't regret it. So, yeah. There you go, fully I'm endorsed. Hyped. Fully endorsed by the almighty Tommy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, with that in mind, uh, thank you so much for watching my below average performance. I do apologize for the, the screen grab. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for listening, and I will catch you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.